Hi, my name is Lorraine from Sew the Land, and today I'm going to be showing you how we make our pickled onions. This is a wonderful way to spruce up any meal. This week we have my parents visiting on our homestead from California, and I'm gonna be preparing lots of very simple meals, and I like to spruce it up with just some really fancy condiments. So let's get started. For pickled onions, I like to use red onions. So I have one whole red organic onion. You can slice your onions as thick or as thin as you would like to eat them on top of a dish. I always find that this recipe looks the best when we have onion slices. However, this is a very large red onion, so it may or may not fit in your jar. So if, if that's the case, you can always choose to leave um, half slices. So once you've gotten your onion all sliced up and you can take off these outer peels, you're gonna wanna place them inside a quart size mason jar. Red onions are also such a beautiful onion and they give off such a beautiful color this makes for great presentation. Now I'm just going to push down with my hand and make sure that the whole onion fits right into our mason jar. The next thing I'm going to do is take a separate quart mason jar and two cups of room temperature to warm water and just pour that right into the mason jar we'll need one cup of apple cider vinegar. This happens to be my homemade apple cider vinegar. And if you need to see the video, we'll link that right up above. And it's easy to make and it smells much better than the store-bought one. And it even has the mother. So one cup of apple cider vinegar. So one cup. Most pickled onion recipes or pickled recipes call for sugar. We don't really like to use processed sugar in our home. So what I'll use for this recipe is honey. So let's use about two tablespoons. And then next we are going to need one tablespoon of sea salt. And I'm gonna pour that into our cider vinegar and water mixture. Now we just wanna use a long spoon to stir it well so that way the sea salt is mixed in there and starts to dissolve. Next, we're gonna need one garlic clove. This is from our own garlic that we grew and harvested here on our homestead. And place that right on top and about 10 or 20 peppercorns. You can just put eyeball that in. If you need a measurement, maybe it's about a teaspoon of whole peppercorns. These are whole peppercorns. Now that the salt is dissolved, let's pour it right into our, our first mason jar. I'm gonna take a plastic lid. If you use one of these metal lids, um, you'll just want to be sure to finish this and eat it up right away because the cider vinegar can eat away at the metal, but I like these plastic lids, They're, they work just fine. And I'll put a link where you can get all of these materials to make this recipe down below. Now that the lid's on nice and tight, I'm gonna give this a really good shake to kind of get out some of the air bubbles. And as you can see, some things have lifted up here. I'm just going to use the back of a spoon to push them back down under the water pouring more liquid in until everything is underwater. And from this point on, I'm gonna leave the cap on, place this in the refrigerator, and it should be ready within 24 hours. However, the taste gets better the longer it sits and marinates together. So I like to wait two days before we eat it. However, I do need it for tomorrow's dinner. We're gonna place it on top of some homemade tacos, homemade chicken tacos. Uh, but they go great on top of salads and in chicken salads and they really go great with any dish. After 24 hours, 
the color will you'll start to see that the color turns pink and the liquid inside is pink and the onions are softer and all of the flavors have marinated together the sweet and the salty and a little bit of crunch and a little bit of onion and it's just fantastic to serve over a plain and simple meal it just jazzes it up these pickled onions will keep in the refrigerator honestly i don't know because they've never lasted very long but it is apple cider vinegar so it should last a couple months in the fridge but trust me they will not last very long because they're going to be so delicious you'll want them on top of everything and sometimes depending how large or small your onion is I may have to use one and a half onions or sometimes this is just enough this was just enough for this recipe but sometimes you happen to have a little bit of that brine left over and you can pickle something else try some carrots or some cauliflower just don't forget to add a little bit of honey uh, to this jar so that way it has some of the sweetness sweet and salty flavor but um, don't toss this out, pickle something else and give it a try. And then I'm just gonna pour this leftover brine right on top. This ended up being enough. Again, my name is Lorraine and I wanna thank you guys for watching. This is our pickled onion recipe and stay tuned for more recipes and more fun videos. Have a great week, you guys.